Okay, Tommy, one thing that I would recommend in watching you hit, you're loading your back hip, you get a little climb. I think that you got to get a little bit more off your backside because as you watch, right as you're starting to come down, we start to turn a little bit. I think we could get off our backside because we set ourselves up to be around. See how our back knee is starting to come in as we're getting to toe touch? Then as we slam our front foot down into immediate preparation, like you're doing a great job, like hands are back, that's good, right? As you're gonna see, your front hip locks out, you get a good pivot point, but we get our direction just being a little bit around the ball. And I would recommend that you just work on getting off your backside and into the ground, meaning toe into the, see you can really see how with your back leg, it's a lot of front foot reach, more than your back foot, back leg delivering your front foot. And it's that motion there that, that gets us and sets us up to be a little bit around. If I went all the way back to your last swing here, you even get some back knee action kicking out. See that move right there? Did you just watch your kneecap? So you even turn it back just a little bit and you can see how you're a little bit stuck on your back leg and you start to rotate before you get into the ground. So this was another swing, but I think it's more pronounced. See this movement here? really into your backside and it's a lot of front foot reach and then as you get off you can see how you're really stuck back we start to just get that you can even see your front foot watch your front foot see how it even goes back a little bit into the ground as i zoom in here see how it even goes back a little bit into the ground and that just sets us up to come around a little bit